Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Simply Nesting Blanket. Uh, now this is a, an easy blanket to work once you get the hang of this nesting V-stitch. I've worked it in a 100% cotton yarn, which I'll talk about in just a moment. And it is a beautiful texture, fun to play with color. It's the same on both sides and solid fabric. The size that I've worked in the design is a crib blanket size for a baby. Uh, the blanket is quite heavy, uh, which uh, I like, and it makes a great gift for family or friends or for your own uh, self. So for this pattern today, we're going to need some cotton yarn. I've used a 100% worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. And each of these balls of yarn has approximately 186 yards. You're going to need three different colors. In your first color A, you're going to need five balls. And then in your colors B and C, you're only going to need four balls of those. Uh, today I'll be working with the blueprint color, the rose taupe, and the stone as shown in the photo here. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern, which is on my blog free at fridgetexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials here. Our design today is worked in rows. We're going to start with our color A, which for me is this blueprint color. You're going to begin by making a slip knot and then by chaining a foundation chain. Now to make this size that I have in the pattern, which is about 42 by 40 inches, you're going to begin by chaining 127 chains in your color A. If you would like to change the size of your blanket, you'll simply need a multiple of three plus one stitches. Today, I am going to change the size. I'm just going to work a small swatch. So I'm going to begin by chaining 22. Otherwise, to follow the pattern for the crib size baby blanket, chain 127. There's 21 and then one more for 22 otherwise 27 stitches in your color A. Once you have your foundation chain worked you're going to begin row one by working one double crochet into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one two three four five into this fifth chain work one double crochet. You're then going to chain one and work a double crochet into the same stitch. This is called your V stitch. Anytime you have a double crochet, chain one and double crochet, that is called your V stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and into the next stitch, work another V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet all into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next two stitches, V stitch into the next. Skip the next two stitches and V stitch into the next. all the way across your foundation chain. When you come to your final two stitches, 
you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next, switching over to your color B. So to switch to your color B, you're going to yarn over, skip that next stitch into your final stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the two loops. You can then drop that color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook. If you feel more comfortable, you may also use a slip knot uh, and uh, place it on your hook and then just pull it through. So your color B is set to go. In this pattern, we're not going to fasten off our color A at this time. Uh, we're going to simply be carrying our colors up the side because after work, afterward, we will work in edging that hides the uh, loose strands that are following. You're then going to chain two and turn your work. You're now working in your color B for row two, you're going to work over top of the chain one space of the next V stitch. And then into the same stitch of the next V stitch in the foundation chain down below, you're going to work a V stitch. So working over top of this chain one space into the same space as the V stitch of your foundation chain, work a V stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, kinda to the height of your double crochet. You don't want it to bunch too much. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, chain one, work another double crochet down into the same space over top of that chain one. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So into your next uh, stitch, two rows below into the base of your next V-stitch, working over top of that chain one, work a V-stitch. These first few rows are a little bit tricky because they do tend to pull up a little bit and can be harder to see. So repeat all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, once again, we're going to be switching to our next color. One more V-stitch here. You'll come to your chain two and you're going to work a final half double crochet into the top of that chain, switching to your color C. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop. Because this is a half double crochet stitch, drop that color B pick up your color C, place it on your hook, and pull through. So that brings you to the end of your row two. You can then, with your new color, chain two, and turn your work. For row three, we're now working with your color C, we're essentially going to repeat that row two. So working over top of the chain one space, but this time we're going to work into the chain one space of the V stitch in the row below. So here you might have to pull your stitches apart a little bit, but you want to work over top of this first chain one space and under the chain one space of the V stitch two rows below. So you're working in the chain one space of your color A row. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook just in the space, and work my V stitch.
you're going to repeat that all the way across. So again, over the next chain one space and into the chain one space, two rows below. So you're working under that color A, work a V stitch. This is my final V stitch. When you come all the way across, again, just as you did before, into that chain two, and you can either uh, work right into the stitch, or if you'd prefer, just into the space. And this time you're going to switch back to your color A, so dropping that color C, pick up your A, which is still attached down here, and gently carry it up the side and pull through. You're then going to chain two and turn your work. Now you do have to be careful when you're working that these colors don't get too tangled up. So you may need to move them around a little bit. But you're then all set to start your row four. So for row four, we're going to start it off slightly differently. We're going to begin by working a double crochet stitch into the space between the chain two and the first V stitch two rows below. So now we're working under our color B, yarn over, insert your hook just into that space between the chain two and the V and work one double crochet. You're then going to skip the next V stitch and again working in the space between the two stitches, work a double crochet in the space two rows below. So we're just inserting our hook down below in between the two V stitches and working a new one. We're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next V stitch and work a V stitch in the space between the next two V stitches two rows below. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, just as the, you did at the beginning, you want to work one final double crochet into that chain two space, two rows below. And then work one final half double crochet up in the chain two space of the previous row, so under our color C. And this time switching over to your color B, which you will find just laying there at the side. Chain two and turn your work. For row five, we're essentially going to repeat our row four, beginning with that double crochet into the chain two space, two rows below. Skip uh, that next space. And this time working a V stitch through the center of our next V stitch, working under that space two rows below again. So we're working under our color C over top of the chain one space of the next V stitch. And you're going to repeat that across so over the next chain one space of the next V stitch into the space two rows below between the two V stitches, work a V stitch.
when you come all the way across. You're going to finish off with a double crochet into the chain two space two rows below. followed by a half double crochet into your final chain two space switching over to your color C which again is laying down there just at the side place it on your hook and pull through chain two turn your work and you're ready for row six For row six, using your color C and that space between the double crochet and that first chain two turning space, you're going to, going to work a double crochet. Then over top of the next chain one space and into the chain one space of your V stitch two rows below, work one V stitch. Repeat that all the way across over the next chain one space into the chain one space, two rows below, work one V-stitch. Continue all the way across. When you come to your final space, work a double crochet into that chain, two space, two rows below, and a half double crochet into that turning chain space directly below, switching to your color A. Chain two and turn your work. Now we're back working with our color A for row seven. We're going to skip this first double crochet and into the space between the next double crochet and the next V stitch two rows below, we're going to work a V stitch. So we're just working over top of these two spaces between the double crochet and the next V-stitch. Skip the next V-stitch and into the space two rows below, work a V-stitch. Repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across, you're skipping your final V-stitch, working a V-stitch into that space, and then work your final half double crochet into that chain two, final chain two space. Switch back to your color B in this final stitch. chain two in color B and turn your work. For row eight, you're working with your color B. We're simply going to work a V-stitch over the next chain one space and into the next space two rows below and that's the space between the two V-stitches two rows below, or I guess between the double crochet and the next V-stitch two rows below. Skip the next spaces here and over the next chain one space, 
work a v-stitch into the space between the two v-stitches two rows below repeat that all the way across you'll find that now that you've worked a little bit of the fabric inserting your hook in those spaces has become a little bit easier than it was at first hopefully continue all the way across and finish off your row eight with a half double crochet into that final chain two space switching over to your color C. Now as far as the repeats and this part of the blanket is concerned, that's it. You're going to repeat your rows three through to eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Repeat those rows uh, until your work from the beginning measures approximately 40 inches. You're then going to meet me back here and we will work the edging together. Once you have worked your blanket until it measures approximately 40 inches, you will want to end on either a row four or row seven. So you're going to end with your color A. You're then all set to work the edging and I've worked a very simple smooth edging that really shows off the color and texture in the design. So if you haven't already, um, if you're leaving your yarn attached, you can simply just chain one and turn, or if you've fastened off, then you'll want to join your yarn color A with a slip stitch in the top right corner. You're then going to begin your simple edging. So what we're going to do for this first round, and it's worked in rounds, you're going to work a half double crochet into each stitch and chain one space all the way across the top of your blanket. So half double crochet into each stitch. Now what I did when I hit the chain one spaces because I wanted it to be a little bit more solid but it's really up to you. Personally I just worked a spiked half double crochet down into the space under the stitch below just to fill it in a little bit more. But other than that, just work your half double crochets into each stitch across the top of your blanket. If you ended on a row seven, this is a row four, if you ended on a row seven, you might not have as much of a gap there, so you don't have to worry about it. So just continue working half double crochets all the way across. This is for round one of the edging. To your corner stitch. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three half double crochets into that corner and that's going to bring you around so that you have the rough side of your blanket showing. That's the one with all these loose threads. You're then going to evenly work. Now if you worked it to the size that I have originally written the pattern, evenly work about 120 half double crochet stitches across this edge and you're going to be working over top of these loose strands that you carried up the side. You can adjust the number of stitches, simply work the number of half double crochet stitches that you feel comfortable with up the side. Just remember how many you worked because when you come to your opposite side you're going to want to work the same number of stitches on the other side of your blanket. So evenly work 120 stitches or however many you would like across the side of your blanket until you come to your corner again. 
when you come to that corner stitch work three half double crochet stitches into that corner it's going to bring you to the bottom side of your blanket once again work half double crochets across the bottom half double crochet the same number 120 up the side when you come to your final stitch work two half double crochets in that final stitch and join with a slip stitch that will bring you to the end of round one at the end of round one you've joined with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch chain one and turn your work you're then going to for round two work a single crochet into this first stitch and then three single crochet stitches into your corner stitch you're going to continue working single crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around working three single crochets into your corner stitches when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch chain one and turn at the end of round two for your edging chain one turn your work you're then going to work one final round and you're going to do that by working a half double crochet into that first stitch and then a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around again working three half double crochet stitches in that corner stitch join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch fasten off weave in your ends and your simply nesting blanket is complete so that's all there is thank you so much for joining me once again don't forget to subscribe say hello down in the comments and i can't wait to see uh, all of your finished simply nesting blankets until next time happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.